after a week-long weather delay, finally opening the Scott Frost era, doing so against one of the Skurs, old Big 12 North rivals from Frost's playing days in Lincoln. Here's the head Husker on getting absolutely nothing out of week one. No, nah, we're just disappointed. It, it's been a lot of hard work. We got all dressed up for nothing. Um, the guys are ready to play. The challenge is you don't get the benefit of your first game going into the second one. Uh, most coaches will say you improve the most between game one and game two. Uh, we don't get the benefit of that, uh, so we're going to have to make up for it in practice. He heard Scott Frost say in his interview, you improve from week one to week two. He's talking about his team, but he's really also talking about his quarterback. Obviously, Scott Frost, being an ex-quarterback, knows the value of week one to week two. So Adrian Martinez missed that, and you improved drastically from week, week one to week two, like you, like from year one to year two. So here he he gets, you know, he builds him up for week one, and all of a sudden they don't play. Now you have to build him way back up again. The big key to me for Adrian Martinez and, and for Scott Frost is just to get around him all week long and keep him relaxed. Because hey, here we go again, another big week. You got to get yourself up, but keep him relaxed and even keel all week. So Scott, look for Scott Frost to spend more time with him this week. It's interesting because for Husker Nation. This is a rivalry game. The fans, the mm -hmm. lifelong Nebraska fans, they remember all those great matchups against Colorado. Mm -hmm. For Frost, it's a rivalry game. For the players on this roster, you can kind of argue it's not really a rivalry game because Nebraska and Colorado haven't been rivals during the lifetime or at least the formative years of the players who will suit up right. this coming weekend.